Kathleen Kelly. Hello. What a coincidence. Mind if I sit down? Yes, actually I do. I'm expecting someone. Pride and Prejudice. I didn't know you were a Jane Austen fan. Not that it's a surprise. I bet you read that book every year. I bet you just love Mr. Darcy. Your sentimental heart beats wildly at the thought that he and whatever her name is are honestly and truly going to get together. Would you please leave? I'll get up as soon as your friend comes in. Is he late? The heroine in Pride and Prejudice is Elizabeth Bennet, and she's one of the greatest, most complex characters ever written. Not that you would know. As a matter of fact, I've read it. Oh, well, good for you. I think you'd discover a lot of things if you knew me. If I really knew you, I know what I'd find. Instead of a brain, a cash register. Instead of a heart, a bottom line. What is it? I just had a breakthrough, and I have you to thank for it. For the first time in my life, I'm confronted with a horrible, insensitive person. I actually knew what I wanted to say, and I said it. I think you have somewhat of a gift for it. It was a splendid mixture of poetry and meanness. Meanness? Let me tell you something about me. Don't, don't misunderstand me. I'm merely trying to compliment you. What have we here? A red, no, crimson rose tucked in between the pages. Something you read about in a book, no doubt. One of those books with the lady on the cover about to throw herself off a cliff. Give it to me. Give it back. It's a joke to you, isn't it? Everything's a joke to you. Would you please leave? Please leave, I beg you. Please. You know what that handkerchief reminds me of? First day we met. First time you lied to me. I didn't lie to you. You did too. I did not. You did too. I thought all that fox stuff was so charming. F-O-X. I did not lie about it. Joe? Just call me Joe. As if you're one of those stupid 22-year-old girls with no last name. Hi, I'm Janice. Hi, I'm Kimberly. Don't they know you're supposed to have a last name? It's like they're a whole generation of cocktail waitresses. I'm not a stupid 22-year-old. Well, that's not what I meant. But when I said that thing about the price club and the cans of olive oil, that's not what I meant either. Oh, you poor, sad multimillionaire. I feel so sorry for you. Not, I take, the world's greatest living expert on Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. Leave my boyfriend out of this. But someone else entirely. Will you be mean to him too? Will you start out as sweet as sugar candy? And then suddenly, miraculously, like a bolt from the blue, find that sharp little tongue of yours? No, I won't. Because the man coming here tonight is completely unlike you. The man who's coming here is kind and funny, and he's got the most wonderful sense of humor. Well, he's not here. If he's not here, he's got a good reason not to be. Because there's not one cruel or careless bone in his body. Can't expect you to understand anything about a person like that. You've nothing but a suit. Well, that's my cue. Good night.
things about the olive oil and at the price club, that's not what I meant either. Oh, you poor sad multimillionaire. I feel so sorry for you.